You can join us if you want to, but you don't have to. You don't have to, it's when you can show in. He's finishing if you want. What? You're live streaming. You can show in. There you go. Yeah, all right. We'll see. So uh, we just do a, uh, we just finished our evening of classes, and uh, so people are finishing up and saying good night and kind of opening and closing doors. So it's not ideal time for meditation. But sometimes it's tested, sometimes it's practiced. And uh, Garrett and Ethan are here, so we have guest stars for our uh, daily meditation today. So I just thought I'd, I'd just do a little uh, pantry meditation uh, since we uh, finished the whole day and I don't have much left to do myself, maybe a little bit of writing and cooking, but it's pretty much done. And we had a whole evening and afternoon classes, which are just finishing up, and these guys are probably doing the same thing, pretty much heading home and having a bite or bed in a while, I guess. So, uh, if um, you're um, going to go shopping, or the earlier version of going shopping, uh, which is uh, hunting and gathering, or just gathering, or gardening, you soon recognize at the onset of adulthood how much work that is. Now, if you go to work, time and the energy and stoke the fire of uh, desire to, to go into the thorn bushes or chase the animal. So you have to spend to get time, money, effort, intention, willpower. So I'm simplifying for today's audience. You have to work for some time to have money. And then when it's time to go, you have to make the time and spend the fuel, spend the energy to go get this. And now you can eat, right? or wear those clothes, or you know, uh, keep up the food analogy. And so, when you're 18, we'll just say that you're a brand new adult. You think, oh, all right, I get it. <clears throat> the way I often teach this is. driving a car, you don't maybe think too much of when you're 12, but when you're 14 or 15 or 16, you start to really about it. And how much freedom there is. You can go here, do this, pick that person up, drive here, explore that. And you know, when you're 16, you quickly realize that you need gasoline and insurance and repairs. Uh, and maintenance. And so that means you have to go to work to earn money the gasoline and the insurance and the repairs and the maintenance. So it's not just all about freedom and where you want to go. It's all the stuff you have to do in order to be able to use the car. In other words, the day you're 16, just in my analogy, is the day you realize there's a lot of work you have to do in order to enjoy that freedom. So in this analogy of going to the store, when let's say 18 being the supposed age of adulthood, you think, all right, I know that I have to go do all the work to have the money and the time and the energy and the knowledge and the curation of a list and putting it on the front burner so that it happens and I go to the store and I get those things. And the moment you get home, so it's your 18th birthday, it's 2 p.m., you got home, you have all the groceries and you think, boy, I learned all that from my car. You do all the work and then you do the thing and then you enjoy it. As soon as you get home, you realize there's a pantry and there's a third stage which means you have to put away, organize, label, clean, stack, all the things that you bought. You come home and you're tired and you have your groceries and you have no money in your bank account and you put them down and you can't 
just enjoy that freedom. You can't enjoy what you've earned. You have to put the ice cream away. You have to throw out the old something or other and put the new in. And you have to rotate the FIFO stuff in the fridge. So there's this third stage, the pantry stage, of organizing and making coherent and cleaning where you put what you've gotten. So the pantry meditation is at the end of the day of classes. You might just think, I'll go home and rest. But if you don't put those things away that you got, they rot or melt on the counter. There's a third stage of the process. And so what we're doing now is going through the pantry and saying, these potatoes get composted, these new ones go in the back of the old ones that are not that old. I'm going to put this pumpkin pie mix over here and label it or whatever you're doing, you're putting your stuff away, hopefully in an organized fashion, a clean way fashion, so that it's accessible, so that it's not forgotten, so that it's labeled, so that it's known and named and understood and placed conscientiously. And this is an entirely extra stage of work. You have to put the stuff away. So we did a whole week of, uh, evening of classes and we learned this and learned that and examined that and studied this. You can't just go home and put the bags on the grocery, uh, on the counter or leave them in the seat of the car. You have to put them away. And so for some of that, that's taking notes or typing our notes. For some of us, it's reviewing the video of the class. For some of us, just reviewing the moves physically or what have you. <clears throat> for us, for the meditation, we're just going to go through each of the things that we touched on or learned or were introduced to and see how they fit with my prior understandings. See how they fit. And sometimes they fit and they show me what now is known to be missing, which starts to shine a light on what I'll learn next. Right now, we're thinking what we learned today, or what came to us to be learned. We're thinking where it fits, what it's called, what it relates to, what shelf it goes on. This takes me hours, sometimes it takes 26 seconds, somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to take forever. I don't have to count the Cheerios in the box, but it helps. <coughs> Not to put the Cheerios away, but the Christmas decorations. the same as being able to explain it or type it in my notes accurately. Okay, let's kind of come back into the room. You guys have any feedback or questions that would help clarify for anybody watching? Or? Yeah, let's bow there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, Garrett. Thanks, Colin.